If you're trying to sell memberships or digital products on your Webflow site, you've probably realized that Webflow doesn't have built-in membership features anymore. But that doesn't mean that you're out of options. You can turn your Webflow site into a fully functional membership site in just a few steps. In this video, I'll walk you through how to set up your membership, lock your content, and start accepting payments so you can start making money right away. But before you can start selling memberships, you need to turn your Webflow site into a membership site with a tool like MemberSpace. And that's as simple as adding a small snippet of code to your site. So you'll start by copying the install code from your MemberSpace dashboard. Then you'll go over to your Webflow backend, go to where it says site settings and click custom code, and then paste that code under where it says head code. Then you'll click save and publish. And just like that, your site is now set up for selling memberships. Now that you've added membership functionality to your website, the next step is setting up the content that members will pay you for. So since MemberSpace works by putting a paywall around your members only content, you'll need to add your content directly to pages on your website. This might include things like an online course with video lessons and downloadable resources, a content library with guides, templates, or videos. Maybe it's exclusive blog posts for paying members or even a private community where you host live discussions and events. It can really be whatever you want it to be. Just another tip, keeping your content organized will make managing your membership so much easier. So instead of spreading your gated pages all over your website, consider creating a dedicated section that looks something like this, yoursite.com slash members slash courses or yoursite.com slash members slash community. Once you've added your content, the next step is making sure only paying members can see it. Now to gate your member pages, all you have to do is go to products in the MemberSpace dashboard and tell us which pages of your website are members only. Then MemberSpace will automatically add a paywall to these pages, prompting visitors to sign up or log in before they can access the content. Now that you've gated your content, let's talk about how you want to charge for access. With MemberSpace, payments are handled through Stripe, so you can securely process transactions right on your website. And the best part is that you have complete control over how your pricing works. You can charge a one-time fee for lifetime access to your membership. You can set up monthly or yearly subscriptions if you are looking for a reoccurring revenue stream. You can even offer installments so members can pay you over time. And you can create a free plan or offer free trials so people can test out your content before committing to your paid content. You also get to decide all of the billing details like billing frequency, renewal dates, things like that. Now let's make it simple for visitors to join your membership. Go back to that pricing plan that you just created and copy the signup link. Then you're going to add that link to your Webflow site by pasting it into different places around your site, like a join now button on your homepage, maybe your navigation menu, a pricing page with your membership plans, and your site's header or footer for easy access. When someone clicks that button, they'll see a sign up and payment form. And once they complete it, they'll get instant access to all of the content included in your membership plan. At this point, your membership site is fully functional, but to get the best results, a lot of membership site owners find that utilizing some of our growth tools like one-click signups, one-click payments, free trials, and abandoned signup reminders can make a big difference in getting more signups. So be sure to check those out. And just remember, you can adjust things over time and see what works best for your audience. The most important thing is to get up and running and tweak things as you go. If you have any questions at all, drop them in the comments and I'd be happy to help. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips on growing and monetizing your website.